this episode you will learn how to UK treble crochet which is US double crochet, working in rows, how to correct your work and how to tie off. It's important to know that there is a difference in UK and US terms. The techniques are the same, they're just different terminology. Being aware of this from the beginning will help you when learning to crochet. Welcome back to the third episode of the Absolute Beginners series. Today we're going to learn how to treble crochet, which is a UK term. In the US this is known as a double crochet. It is the same stitch, just a different term. We're going to begin by creating a slip knot and doing a foundation chain. I will demonstrate this to you today, but if you want a more in-depth demonstration with more detail, please go to the first video in this series. So you want to wrap your yarn around your finger and pinch this with your finger and your thumb. You're going to wrap the yarn around your finger again and pinch with your finger and thumb. Bring the back loop over the front loop and you have created your slip knot. Go ahead and take your hook, insert into your slip knot and pull tight on your knot. For the treble crochet, which is known as double crochet in the US, we are going to start off by chaining 12. So you're going to yarn over and pull through the loop that's on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the loop that's on the hook and then yarn over and pull. So that is three chains. Please remember if you want a more in-depth explanation of this, go to video one of this series. Remember to move your fingers up the chain as you are working. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So for the treble crochet, we're going to work into the third chain from the hook. We're not counting the one that's on the hook. We have our first one here, our second, and this is our third. We're going to be working into the top loop of the chain. There are different techniques you can use for this, but as an absolute beginner, I recommend working into this chain. You're going to wrap your yarn around the hook, and I recommend that you place your finger onto this yarn which is just here. It just makes it a little bit easier. We're going to insert our hook into that chain and you'll look like you have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through your chain. You will then have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops on the hook. You'll be left with two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops on the hook. You've now just made your first treble. Remember this is known as double crochet in the US. We're going to move across to our next chain and we're going to yarn over, put our finger on this yarn, insert your hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the chain. You'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the next two loops. That is your second treble crochet. We're going to do exactly the same thing all the way along the chain. So move your finger over, don't forget to pinch tight here so that you're not affecting the rest of the chain. Yarn over, insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and pull through that chain. You'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And then yarn over and pull through the next two loops. We've now just done three treble crochets. Move over into the next chain and do exactly the same thing. So insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two loops and yarn over and pull through the next two loops. I'm going to repeat this all the way to the end. Please feel free to pause the video whenever you need to in order to catch up.
So we have now just completed the first row of treble crochets. You can easily see the stitches here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we have this section at the end here. This is known as our turning chain. Turning chains are simply to get up to the height of the stitch in order to work the next row. So for row two, we want to do our turning chain again. So we're going to chain two, yarn over and pull through, and yarn over and pull through. You're going to turn your work like a book. We are now going to work into the next stitch along, so not into the base of the chain like you would do in a double crochet or US single crochet. We're going to move over into this stitch. If you turn your work onto the side it will look like you have V's across the top of your work and that's what we're going to be working into. So yarn over, place your finger on this piece of yarn and insert into the top of that stitch from the last row. This time you'll look like you have a little V on your hook. You'll also have another two loops on your hook just here. Yarn over and pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, you'll have two loops left on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through those two loops. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next treble, again you'll look like you have a V on your hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through two loops. And you're just going to continue this all the way along. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. If ever you make a mistake, it's pretty simple to correct. You want to take your hook out and then you want to pull on your yarn like so. You can see that this just takes away one stitch at a time. Once you get back to the stitch which you are happy with, you want to insert your hook into this loop which is left just here and then you are ready to continue on your way again. I'm going to build the rest of this row and show you how to do your stitch into the last stitch of the row because this can look a little bit different. Feel free to pause the video and meet me once you get to that point so that we can do it together. So I'm now at the end of this row. This first stitch that we did here was actually a chain two, which is a turning chain. So we miss this one out and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're then left with our last stitch to do. And this is going to be in the turning chain from the previous row. So you want to take a look at this stitch, you may have to pull it out slightly in order to get in there with your hook, but this is where we want to be working. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. It's really important that you are counting your stitch at the end of each row and remembering not to count that chain two as a stitch. This will stop your work from either getting bigger and fanning out or getting smaller and working its way in. So count your stitches at the end of each row to ensure that you have done it correctly. We're now ready to move on to row three and it's exactly the same as before. We're going to chain two, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through, and turn the work. We don't work into the base of this chain two, instead we're going to move over into this first stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, remember you'll look like you have a V. Yarn over, pull through that stitch. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, you'll have two loops on your hook, 
and then yarn over and pull through those two loops. I'm going to continue to build these stitches and work a few more rows so that you can see what the work starts to look like. I will then show you how to finish off your work. I have now built four rows of this stitch to make a square. So these stitches are a lot larger than what a double crochet would be. In the US that is a single crochet. So we have one, two, three and four rows. We're now going to tie off our yarn. So we want to yarn over and pull through and pull up a loop. You then want to take your scissors and leave in a good amount of yarn, snip off your yarn. You can then pull your hook out and this creates a knot in the end of your work. We're now going to sew this in. So you want to take your darning needle and thread up your yarn. And we're going to work in a rule of three. So you simply want to take your darning needle and weave in and out the fibres of your yarn. You want to come inwards and pull your yarn through. If you pull your yarn too tight then just pull back and make sure that your work is sitting properly. We're now going to go back this, the opposite way going into different fibres if possible and then back the same way once again you can go down the stitches if you want to, but you're going to go back in the opposite direction in order to do the rule of three. Go ahead, take your scissors and snip off your yarn. And then you can do exactly the same with the opposite end. So there you have your treble crochet. I would recommend that you practice this over and over until you feel comfortable with it. In the next video of this series, I'm going to show you how to do a half treble crochet. So this is going to be a stitch which is slightly smaller than this, but also slightly bigger than a double crochet. So make sure you check back to watch that video.